Yeah, today I want to uh, share a few thoughts about um, actor, the actor Robert Blake. <clears throat> you know, as um, I grew up in the 1970s and uh, early 1980s, and um, you know, back then I was a young boy, uh, you know, maybe eight, nine years old. Uh, so uh, back then there, there were not many interesting uh, TV shows and TV programs back then uh, especially you know in Sweden we didn't have much uh, not not much of variety uh, not much to see on TV and um, I remember especially the uh, TV series uh, Beretta so uh, that was the highlight of the week uh, they also showed Kojak and um, we waited, uh, I, I, I think they showed it on Fridays, so very exciting uh, show about the detective undercover cop played by uh, Robert Blake. So uh, I had a friend, uh, actually was a young boy, my neighbor, um, and we had uh, teddy bears and uh, you know he had a teddy bear and I had a teddy bear and uh, we uh, played on the Imagine that uh, those teddy bears, uh, those uh, my teddy bear was uh, Beretta, and uh, my neighbor's teddy bear, he was the bad guy, and we played together. And once in a while, uh, the uh, my neighbor wanted his teddy bear to be Beretta. You know, there couldn't only be one Beretta, so uh, sometimes my my teddy bear had to be the bad guy. And we played, and we had uh, built uh, cars uh, out of um, Lego bricks. And, uh, you know, it was a child's play, uh, so Beretta was really a hero. And um, I remember I also had the LP, you know, the theme, Beretta's theme by Sammy Davis. Um, it's a cool song, and um, so uh, Robert Blake is pretty much equals Beretta. It's uh, the picture, if I see a picture of, of uh, Blake, it's... Beretta for me, uh, but he. I also saw a movie that he uh, had a, a lead role in that movie. It, it's called uh, In Cold Blood. I saw it on TV. I saw it on. Uh, it actually is available on YouTube. So it's a great movie. Um, it's uh, from 1967. It's a black and white movie. It's about two drifters. Uh, Recently, they recently uh, were uh, released from jail, so now, now they uh, drive around on the uh, countryside uh, and they, um, they steal and they cheat uh, and they try to, uh, they have forged, uh, they have uh, checks, they bounce the, their checks and um, eventually they, uh, the character that Blake plays, uh, and the other guy, the, the, these two criminals, they decide to uh, uh, to do a burglary, to burglarize a home, to break into a house. And this is actually based on a true story that took place, uh, I think it was in Kansas or something. And they break into the house, but uh, they, they didn't know that the owners of, of that house were at home, so they kidnap, uh, they shoot the uh, the man, and uh, they take uh, the daughters. They kidnap them, and um, I think I think they kill the whole family. So, and they run away, and try to they escape, uh, and they're they're haunted by the police. They 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 hunted by the police, uh, and then then they get uh, arrested. And they were sentenced to death uh, by hanging. So uh, in the, the scene, the last scenes in the, in the movie is about when uh, Blake's character is uh, is hanged, executed. I think uh, Robert Blake he did a very good performance in this movie. It's a very um, a uh, miserable uh, movie. It's kind of a um, depressing movie, um, and you quite—it's like you feel sorry both for the victims and for the for the perpetrators. And uh, 
Blake, he is um, he's doing a very good job as an actor, probably because he uh, was depressed and a miserable person in real life too. So maybe he had some similar, shared some similar um, things uh, with the, this uh, the character that he plays in the movie. Um, yeah, and then, uh, but that's pretty much his career, uh, as I can remember it, as I know it. It's uh, Beretta and um, that movie in Cold Blood. So, and then he became famous later on in life uh, because of the, the, um, the allegations, you know, he was uh, arrested for the murder of his girlfriend. So he, um, his girlfriend was killed and he appeared on a couple of TV shows. I've seen those on YouTube. He uh, was a guest on the Pierce Morgan show. And you know, Pierce Morgan is a British fellow and he, um, he has a talk show and he is like um, lecturing uh, the, the Americans uh, about things. Uh, how you how they should live their life and uh, what's right and what's wrong and he um, it could be about the death penalty it could be about uh, gun control and um, um, so uh, and uh, as I said Robert Blake was a guest on his show and you know uh, he, Blake is a very nervy, nervous, is a nervy, a nervy person and delirious, and he has a short fuse. So obviously, uh, he uh, they asked him. Uh, I mean, Pierce Morgan asked him the wrong question. So uh, he he became very upset. So um, and you know, Blake was also on the Dr. Phil show. And you really uh, could see uh, his behavior, and he—I uh, mean, this this short fuse—he easily becomes very, very angry. Like it's you push the wrong button, and he like explodes, you know, into fury, into anger. He's, uh, so when uh, you know, and about this murder, this woman uh, that he dated, her, uh, Bonnie Blakely, she was. Uh, a fraudulent person who betrayed men all the time and um, obviously she also betrayed Mr. Mr. Blake so and that in combination with Mr. Blake's uh, very uh, you know uh, uh, this behavior that he has easily upset and um, could become every, very very angry uh, and he also admitted that he had a gun at the time so if uh, he was found not guilty in court, and now he's not, he, I think he's, he went to jail, but I, uh, he is uh, saying that he's innocent, but if uh, it comes out, you know, if it shows that uh, in some way you could prove that he's, uh, uh, that he's guilty, I wouldn't be surprised, because uh, he was fooled, he was betrayed, and as you see, when he appears in these TV shows, he easily becomes very nervy and uh, angry. So the chances are, is it quite a high probability that he actually uh, killed his uh, girlfriend? But uh, I, I think he's a very interesting uh, character, the, the Robert Blake. I mean, he lived a full life. He has a short fuse. And uh, he, uh, I mean, he, um, it's like uh, he didn't live, live a healthy life. I, I imagine, I can't, I imagine that he didn't, didn't live that healthy. He probably, he smoked and he drank and he, uh, he took drugs and uh, so, and he was in jail and uh, although he's a very talented uh, actor, uh, it's like he's on the verge of insanity. So, but many famous artists, um, musicians, they were also uh, very talented, but they lived a very stormy life. So, uh, but, uh, I I think I like uh, Robert Blake because he's so odd 
and he, uh, he, the man is 80, almost 80 years old, and he's lived that uh, life, very exciting life, um, and um, so he ne ne never had a boring, I mean, a boring, uh, it, w it was never bored, obviously, so, but um, that's what I think about uh, Mr. Robert Blake.